Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. And if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him and just his boxers. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Uh, great, but uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out who it belongs to. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. Like I told those cops, no ambulance. Just leave me be. You've tried to rob a corpse. No, I am truly offended. Without me, these cops would have turned to ash. I should get a medal for it or something. You are only hurting your case. Now make your situation better and help me with this investigation. Oh, finally, you're judging me fairly. What do you know about that car? I know the guy who owns it. I mean, I knew him. He always stopped here to pick up this blonde gal. <laughs> Real peach, I'm telling you. <laughs> High class. Describe the woman. Well, she likes jewelry, but she's not covered with it like a Christmas tree. She knows how to wear it. That much I can say.
long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. Ugh, come on, please! Damn lock! May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Ah, oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A keycard issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course, but first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. What'd you find out? We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers.
Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? A witness testified that you met with Mr. Page shortly before he died. I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. So? Am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Be careful what you wish for. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often. Too often for business meetings. <laughs> That doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem. Locating her. But I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. On my way. Keep Ms. Crane there and be careful. She is our prime suspect. Understood. What a surprise. Not everyone in this city would return a wallet. I'd be letting my father down if I didn't, sir. Your father must be proud of you.
Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. He fired her instead. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we can push it. The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. Open sesame! Ah, sure. Keep reminding me of the delicious sesame-sprinkled burger buns we haven't eaten yet. Just delete already! That's the problem, Simon! You can't forget. You're ruining my career! Come on, you stupid machine! You're an obstacle that I have to eliminate! Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. I was born for great things. And only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. know what we can do to make tonight more exciting. Grandma, you know what the doctor said about alcohol. I've got a better idea. We can bet on who will win the election.
using the files that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch criminals. Today's bring your kid to work day. Had no choice. His nanny killed herself this morning. What? Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo, could you resolve this issue we're having? There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome him. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? A reminder will not hurt. OCP needs to run old Detroit into the ground to move forward with the creation of Delta City. The problem is there are people still living there. So OCP takes their property in exchange for supposed profit shares from the investment in the construction. I believe this loophole will allow OCP to rob these people of all they have. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will chew my ear off about it if I don't.
better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. So, you're still here? Security computers connect to a network. It is worth checking if there is another system that needs rebooting. Yeah, it's all brand new. Hasn't been tested before implementation. My boss's idea. I should go and check it out. I'll be on my way. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. Concern for our employees, Omni Consumer Products have purchased new sleeping bags. You will be notified by your supervisor about your options. And remember, your efforts are paying off. I did some... shuffling. Thank you. The people of Old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. How may I help you? A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. But 
You don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir! Sir! Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people. Crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. Friendly reminder, a gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off, unless hospitalization is required. Thank you. There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg, is this what you wanted to see? To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life, or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife. Eternity. Today. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? What about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. 
Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Suit yourself. Can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiles. There must be a catch. He set me up for something. Do you think they hung it upside down? You have to stop coming to the office. You no longer work here. You were fired last month. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone did. The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife, so you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time to celebrate. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo! That Expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. You could arrest me, officer. I even have my own handcuffs. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning.
The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about Afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. Such a tragedy, but uh, are our bonuses safe? Do they know who'll be the new CEO? I hope it won't be that Becker jerk from Security Concepts. Will the Japanese take over the company now? We're still on for playing golf at the weekend, right? The old man would have wanted us to keep going. 